Welcome to TFO Next Morning, where we'll be looking back at last week, the action, the adventure, the Tecmo. Recapping last week, we had the Rap Kings against G.I. Joe, with the Kings winning by seven. The Celestial Defenders against the World's Warriors in the first ever TFO tie. All-American Alcoholics against the Weapon X's with the Alkies 24 to the X's 17. The DBZ squad against the Pallet Pokeballers with a squad winning by four. Greek Legends taking on the Westeros Guardians with the Legends 35, Guardians 17. The WWF Hoffs taking on the Rainbow Unicorns with the Hoffs decimating 31 to 3. The Hollywood Heroes and the Whovians faced off, with the Heroes edging them out 18 points. Lost Survivors and the Boxhead Capers, with the Survivors winning 34-21. The Stellar Offenders taking on Venture Industries, with Venture Industries doubling the Offenders' score 28-14. The Raider All-Stars with the Nocturne Maniacs, with the All-Stars winning by 7. Robot Masters versus the Azrothian Assassins, and the Robot Masters win in 21-7. South Jersey Slashers met with the Beer Gods with the Slashers slashing to victory 38-26. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Torturers taking on the Champs Chumps with the Turtles edging out by 3. And the 8-Bit Brigade took on the Racial Slurs on Sunday Night Football with the 8-Bit Brigade squeaking by by 2. The current standings, we got the Hollywood Heroes and the Lost Survivors and the Bad Snap. Raider All-Stars and the DBZ Squad leading the Bad Crackle. The TMNT Torturers and the 8-Bit Brigade heading up the Bad Pop. The WWF Hall of Famers and Venture Industry leading Mad Snap. Mad Crackle has the Greek Legends and the Robot Masters and the All-American Alcoholics in front. And Mad Pop has the South Jersey Slashers and the Rap Kings taking the lead. Injury report. Week 1 injury report. we got the tight end Tyrion Fodring from the Azrothian Assassins. The running back Simon Belmont from 8-Bit Brigade. The wide receiver Cousin Butch of the Hall of Famers. And running back Sir Lancel of the Westeros Guardians. Running back Darth Maul and running back Ninja Eyes. Ninja Snake Eyes, that is, are also on the injury report, but they're shown as returning next week. Get well soon, guys. With Valentine's Day happening yesterday, I thought this week we would list my top five female players to watch out for this season. These ladies are going to be breaking hearts and bones during the season of Odin. Number five, Dr. Mrs. Monarch, kicker of the venture industries. This is Dr. Mrs. Monarch's first season here in TFO, but already she has the boys talking. She may be sexy, but this queen bee will sting with her long-range accuracy. Look for her to be a force in the field goal department this season. Number 4, Ronda Rousey, tight end and punt returner for the Champs Chumps. Probably the most overrated female in TFO, the Champs Chumps signed Rousey to the highest female contract at $114,000 per game. But don't let her tight end tag fool you. On offense, this rookie has been employed as personal protection for champs running back Ron Jeremy. Defense is better fear this beast. Number three, Queen Elsa, quarterback of the Rainbow Unicorns. After the horrid 14 loss 2015 season, the Rainbow Unicorns spared no expense in bringing the Ice Queen to their team. Her preseason demeanor has been chilling, but our scouts have reported the Unicorns are all in on this Arctic sensation, claiming she will let it go every single game. Let's just hope she doesn't have a rookie quarterback meltdown and show up in Vegas as Billy Elsa. Number 2, Fairy Tinkerbell, running back, kick returner, and punt returner of the Rainbow Unicorns. A seasoned veteran to TFO and a lifelong unicorn with three seasons under her belt. Tinkerbell has been a special teams phenomenon, holding the records for most kick return touchdowns in TFO history, four total, and the most kick return yards in TFO history, 3,280 yards over three seasons. Expect defensive coaches to shake in their boots when this small gal hits the gridiron. And my number one, Miss Piggy, right inside linebacker for the Boxhead Capers. 
the only female pro bowler competing in TFO this season, Piggy ended her rookie season as a 2015 bad pro bowler playing right outside linebacker. She had 14 sacks, one interception, and was the highest paid female player of that season with a contract of 93000 per game. This season, she was given some creative control of the capers and fired most of them. But in the process, she moved herself to right inside linebacker and took a $20,000 per game pay cut. Why? Because Miss Piggy wants to win. She was willing to cut her salary so she could bring in the biggest and best box heads with the extra cash. This woman is strong, sexy, and smart. Expect her to fry a lot of quarterback bacon this season. And that's it for the morning after. See you next Tecmo.